What are you doing? Um, we can't go in there. Why not? It's Flathead. He's... He's what? What's going on? Why aren't you moving into class? It's Mr. Fisher. Yes? Well, he doesn't seem very well. Don, are you all right? Yes. Do you need a moment? No. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, what are you all standing around there for? Come on, the bell's long gone. Are you sure he was crying? I saw him. You don't think it's because of my drawing? Maybe he's furious with me for bringing it all back about Byron. I'd better talk to him. Um, Mr. Fisher? Yes, Hayley? About my drawings. If you want me to change them. Why? I think they're excellent. You do? Yes. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm very proud to have them in my book. A fitting memorial to Byron. What did you say? You liked them. Do you mind if I join you? Well, not exactly great company, I'm afraid. That's all right. Do you mind if I ask you something, Judith? No, of course not. Do you think I'm a bad influence on Edward? I mean, leading him in, in the wrong direction? No. No, not at all. You've been very supportive of him, and I'm grateful. You don't think I'm being selfish? A second chance to make good where I, where I failed with my own son, Alan? And never had a chance with Byron? I know how distressed you were today, Don. I saw the drawings. Oh. I'm so ashamed. I, I should never have let my emotions get the better of me like that. It was just that when I, when I saw those drawings, Byron, as a, as a young boy, he just suddenly reminded me of how much I... It's not just Byron. It's everything, really. You know, today I almost wish that I'd never let Marilyn into my life. You were just upset, Don. Yeah. Yes, well, they say it's better to, to have loved and lost and ne than never to have loved at all, don't they? Hmm? But I'm not so sure. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, I was, uh, I was doing all right. I'd, I'd been alone for a while, sure. A long while, but, uh, well, I'd, I'd, I'd learned to live with that, you know? I was... I was content, not happy, but content. And then along came Marilyn. Beautiful, endearing, young Marilyn. She gave me love, she gave me a son. She opened up my life to a richness and happiness I, I never even dared dream of. And now she's gone. And so is my son. I'm not married, not really. I'm not single either. I'm, I'm just defenseless. I can't protect myself. My emotions, they, they always take over now. And worse, worst of all, is I don't know how to live my life alone anymore.